Bill Schwab, WineVise.com, uh, the wine guy, and I'm here with Mr. Corn. How are you doing today, sir? Great, Bill. How are you doing? Outstanding. We've already tasted through a, a decent amount of Chateau de Poff, and I'm feeling very, very happy about uh, the day so far. It's going great. <laughs> Let's do this again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have to stop? Why don't we just continue all the way till tomorrow? I'm in. We've got the wine. Uh, I've got the time. This is the 07 Pagat. We just tasted the 06, so we're doing the full vertical. Uh, now, the 07 was a much more of a hedonistic finish, I like to say, or a new world style of vintage uh, than the 06. The 06 was outstanding, a tremendously complex and deep bottle of wine. We're going to go to the 07, which should give us a little bit more fruit, mm. but hopefully we didn't trade off any complexity. Mm. A little smoked meat on this particular vintage. Mm. Michigan beef jerky thing. Smoked and a little grilled thing. I mean, you just get a little charred thing to the nose. Like almost coal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Underneath, though, is your black fruits, your Syrah pepper. Mm. You know what I like about the gal? It's like listening to a band you're very familiar with. Every song you can tell, hey, that's that band. But yeah, yeah. every song is completely different. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, tremendous stuff. I, I like your comment about music, and I'm going to ask you a question, Bill. What would you pair this particular vintage and wine with musically? Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones? Yeah. Um, yeah. Album? Album. Um... Mm, aftermath. Oh, great album. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's a good yeah. call. A lot of depth of character. I, I could go with Sympathy, you know, with Beggar's Banquet. Beggar's Banquet was a great one, too, but yeah. let's go with Aftermath. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like your call. Yeah. I, and I it, think it's a little little darker, and I think it works in with the, the wine a little bit better. I'll tell you, I've been experimenting a lot with wine and music, mm -hmm. and I'm finding myself having... Um, as much fun, maybe in because it's fresh, a little more fun than wine and food. Because then I could just make the food, as long as it's seasoned right and prepared correct, I don't have to think about it, and I really pair the wine and the music together. It's mm. working. So what would you do with, like, uh, Katy Perry? New Zealand uh, Sauvignon Blanc? Um, <laughs> Katy Perry, I haven't listened to a lot, but I guess I'd do Dry Rosé from Provence. Dry Rosé? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fresh? Yeah, yeah. Strawberries. Uh-huh. You know. A little bit of fruit? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to talk more of this. <laughs> we will. Let's do a whole thing on it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Definitely grilled meats. And, and uh, it, it's it's a cherry, but a really dark cherry. Um, uh, and, and a plumminess to it, too. The fruit is extremely dark, almost unidentifiable as a single fruit. It's a fruit medley, um, maybe some pomegranate in there. Uh, it, it's just so rich and and, and, and actually, it's almost a, a nut of flavor. It's almost a chunk of fruit flavor. Um, this needs time, as far as I'm concerned. This really needs some time. It's very enjoyable as a big wine now. But to me, the magic of Chateauneuf-Spoff is the complexity in the layers. And while a lot of people will drink this and say, wow, this is great, I want to wait. I want to hold on to this and let those flavors delineate out. Well, you want to drink it now, though, don't you? Yes, I am. A, I do drink my wine young. I have a hard time cellaring my wine, but, you know, it's a part of the business. Mm. That is delicious stuff. Mm. Now, being the vintage that it is, uh, getting the uh, Parker scores that it did, uh, I think 95 points? It was something like that. Yeah. Big, big. Uh, you can call Parker and ask him. Uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, I want to say. 84 is our front line on this uh, today and for the rest of the week for everybody on the internet, 78. It's still a great value in China for the quality. No question about it. Outstanding. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.